everyone, it's Erin. So welcome to February's Alchemy Scope. Already, the month of January flew by for me. I don't know how it was for you. I am wondering though, I wish we could engage because I am very curious how you are doing now. This particular month for me was quite intense on a variety of different levels. And um, if you are sensitive, and even if you're not sensitive, I would say everyone is feeling some sort of response to this time frame. Um, I've spoken to several clients that are feeling increased pressure, um, that they're feeling um, obligated to follow their particular soul's story. And, uh, and there's other things too. Lots of people are feeling stuck and kind of um, knowing that action is required, but they're not clear about what the action is. So there is this real time right now of kind of marination and having to turn inward, having to go inward. And for many people, for some of us, it's, it's okay to do that. Like we're used to doing that. We actually like doing that. It's a self investigation process, but for several people, it's highly uncomfortable. They hate going within. And so there's this rejection about that. And so a lot of people are distracting themselves more and more. In fact, I will say just today, it was actually interesting because I was going to film this intro today and I experienced two people within an hour of one another that replicated the exact same qualities to me and it was quite stunning they were zomb walking zombies completely uh not tuned in not connected and it was either a severe numbness that was going on that they couldn't they had so much going on either emotionally or in their life in their mind that um they couldn't connect or they could, it's like they were just blank, void. And I have to say more and more people, I'm, I'm coming upon more and more and more people like that. So if you're watching this video and you tend to want to distract yourself because you don't want to feel, you don't want to go inside, it's, this time frame is about, we have, we're obligated to grow ourselves. We're obligated to go within. We're obligated to actually feel what's going on and evolve it. So that's why this channel was, was started, by the way. And the Alchemy Scopes are going to be just one component of this channel, I will say. There's other, in fact, there's other projects that are in the works. That's why this video is a little bit late. So, um, yeah, so let's look at why. Why are a lot of us feeling pressure or maybe there's a lot of stuff coming from the past. Like you might have been flooded with maybe even strange, like memories you haven't thought of in forever that are coming forward um, this, this month. There's reasons for this. On the macrocosmic scale, um, there's a lot going on. We have Pluto. This was about mid-January that it was exact, but Pluto is squaring the moon's nodes, the south node and the north node of the moon. So what does this mean? Well, Pluto is, um, you know, the, the planet of transformation, deep transformation, like serious, deep, cut to the chase transformation. And um, the moon's nodes are about habituated habits, patterns of being. The north node is about where we need to go, where we're being urged to go, where we're obligated to go. And so, right now the south node and so the other aspect is that uranus was exactly conjunct the south node on the 20th of january so not only do we have this pluto square the nodes but we have this the uranus pluto square activated alongside uranus exactly conjuncting that south node so what does that mean that is exceeding pressure to change habituated habits of self thinking, feeling, being in the world, you know, it's big. It's really big stuff. Now, on top of that, we have the fourth consecutive, in fact, on the 20th. So when Uranus was conjunct the South Node, we had our fourth consecutive zero degree new moon. When I was recording the previous alchemy scopes, I didn't have my 2015 ephemeris yet. 
and I was stunned when I saw that the first new moon of 2015 was this zero degree Aquarius new moon. Here we are in the age of Aquarius and this is an Aquarius new moon fourth of four consecutive new moons. The next new moon will be at a 29 degree, so a critical point. Also, by the way, in Aquarius, so we'll have two new moons in Aquarius, one at the zero degree point, one at the 29 critical degree point. Very, very, very potent time, you guys. Very big. So if you're feeling um, stressed, uh, impatient, angry, Maybe you're raging about things, um, depressed, sad. There might have been grieving that's been coming up for you, deep sadness about what's next, what's coming, what do I even want? You know, that's kind of the big thing for a lot of people is I don't even know what I want. I know I want something different, but I don't know what I want. So there's a lot of pressure with that. And a lot of people too are feeling the pressure to live in alignment with their core self. This is, this, this is just the time. And I will tell you, this spring is going to be potent. So this first quarter of 2015 is hot, it's potent, it's rich. You want to drink it in. You have no choice, really. I mean, we are here to drink it in. But the more you push it away, deny it, avoid it, don't want to feel, you know, distract, it's going to come at you no matter what. So either you accept it and you go with that flow, you either work with nature's principles and you work with least effort, or you resist it and something breaks, something collapses in your life, something suddenly falls apart that maybe you weren't willing to look at. Maybe it was right in front of your face that it was about ready to fall apart, but maybe not. So anyway, so there's reasons for this this um, potentiated time frame that we're walking through right now this chapter of this human story that we're walking it is very very big and it's very rare we're not gonna this is not this is unique this is unique i mean certainly none of us are ever going to experience anything like this in our lifetimes and probably it won't ever exist exactly like this this is a cycle in a big macro cycle so this is highly unique this period of time that we're walking so that's what's going on so i hope that you're able to embrace this rich challenging obligating unrelenting time frame and know that you are here to make to get clarity to get still, to get quiet, to create space for yourself, to be willing and brave to go within, to really face, in fact, invite the wounds and all the stuff to come up and come forward, and, um, and allow that process. Because by allowing the process, by allowing what's already happening to happen, then the magic happens, then the then you'll start to, your eyes will start to open wider. You'll start to see more broadly. You'll begin to see the synchronicities that are taking place to support your transmutation from your old self to your new self. Because that's what this time frame is. It's about transmuting from the old, from the lead, to the new, to the gold. This is about your evolution, okay? So let's talk about the macro cycle for this particular cycle, which is this zero degree Aquarius new moon. Um, the symbol, the Sabian symbol that's imbued with this new moon is um, an old Adobe mission in California. Now, this one was a hard one for me to really feel, you know, to really get a real sense of the deeper meaning of this particular Sabian symbol. Dane Brudier talks about it in a way when he goes into an explication of this particular symbol it didn't it doesn't resonate for me how he speaks about it doesn't resonate for me he talked about impressiveness he says um you know while becoming an integral part of it so it's mastery of man over environment while becoming an integral part of it it's not really that in my view this was about 
Catholic priests coming to California trying to convert the indigenous Native Americans to an organized religion and taking them out, you know, de devaluing their belief system and bringing forward, imposing another. To me, this particular old Adobe mission picture is something that's abandoned and no longer used. So to me, that means, or that with that, the flavor of that and what it evokes in me, and it'll evoke different things in different people. And that's exactly what these symbols should do. But for me, when I interpret that, especially when we're looking at this kind of human evolutionary journey that we're all taking right now, this is quite definitively about um, that way of being is old and antiquated and no longer working. So it's about moving to a different way. It's about moving to the North Node in Libra way, which is uh, cooperation and um, it's relational. It's based on relationships. It's not based on just the self. It's a based on the it's based on the self in relationship. And whenever you're in relationship, and life is equals relationships. Life is all about relationships, not people to people only. Our relationships to our thinking, our relationships to our feelings, our relationships to events and circumstances, our relationships to our environment and context. Life is nothing but relationships. So the North Node in Libra is quite interesting with this particular Adobe mission. You know, those ways of coming in to an area and telling the peoples of the place that has no value. This is what you value. Mm -mm. That doesn't work anymore. It's so it's very old paradigm and it's very it's something that's crumbling away like an old Adobe mission. So take that symbol in a way that speaks to you. And Dane says, um, when positive, the degree is effective breadth of vision and a respect compelling depth of character. And when negative, lack of ambition and blind adherence to superficialities. So I'll leave that with you. You can take from it what you will. I have my own idea about what it means for the bigger picture of us, for us as both as individuals, but on the collective level of what is not working for the old paradigm and what is crying, screaming to come into play for the new paradigm of thought. So, okay, everybody, that was a lot. So let's talk about what else is going on on the macro and the micro cosmic levels for you. Hi, Aquarius. So let's take a look at the I Ching hexagram that came up for you to reflect the theme for your February 2015. You received a wonderful hexagram. You received 58 joy. Wonderful. The two trigrams that make up this hexagram are lake above, lake below. And I'm going to read here a reminder that this is from the visionary I Ching. This is the language I'm using. A joy that is shared suggests a group of friends playing or a carefree young girl singing to herself while engaged in her work. Happiness is rising within and spreading out into the world. Joy comes into the world through gentle means but springs from a solid inner base. The power of pure joy should not be underestimated. The enjoyment of learning and discovery, for example, has been the source of much progress. Accordingly, that which brings joy into the world is a source of considerable power. If happiness is supported by personal stability, it will in time wear down the stiffest barrier and win over the hardest heart. True joy is a beacon in the world, and though it is indeed rare, its presence is an indication of great good fortune, both now and in the future. How could it be otherwise? So, let's take a look at what your spread wants to tell us. Aquarius, hi. So let's take a look at a spread to see what event or circumstance might be coming forward for you this month to grow from. This is going to be similar to last month. I am using the Brawl to Lay deck. This is a, a deck of cards created by a woman by the name of Shama in the northern Italian community of Damanure. I've already shuffled. This is pretty much the same spread. 
Um, it is going to be a focus on the event and then the support or the recommended steps or action to take in regards to that event. So let's see what is coming forward for Aquarius this month. Okay. Mm, okay, so you not only get the new birth card, but you get the new card. So something new is going to emerge for you this month. Something is going to come forward. Some opportunity is going to present itself, Aquarius. And this is your new moon month. This is your new cycle for the year. So how gorgeous, you know, how appropriate and beautiful. So something new, a new opportunity is going to come forward fast. It's going to come quickly. It's going to involve a lot of people. It's going to involve a group. Um, it's going to be mentally or analytically focused, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be mentally focused, whatever this project is, this opportunity. Um, regarding your, your mind, it's really interesting because the, the, it's going to slow you down, meaning you're asked to slow down your mind, really focus on your soul path, really focus on the new birth of your soul like this trajectory, how is this going to serve your soul path? So regarding this new opportunity that will swiftly emerge, that will involve a group of people, you're asked to give it a lot of thought and consideration. I do sense that the project itself, because this is the foundational level, this is going to be... I don't know, it's going to be like a think tank or some sort of group that assesses, assesses situations. It's very interesting, actually. It might be like a planning committee or something like that that's going to come forward. Your, your higher self is asking you, though, within all of this, within this, let's say, swift, opportunity that emerges to actually really slow down your mind think about what you want for your soul this is like um, you know is this going to serve you is this going to be optimal I think it is but it's asking you to kind of slow down and um, tune in to what you're needing because ultimately it's new birth of the soul so this new opportunity does appear that it will feed you, it will serve you. But again, you're being asked to, I guess the advice or the guidance that your higher self has given you is to slow your mind down, to, um, to not be distracted, to not over think to um yeah to center yourself so that you can actually serve this new opportunity this group of people this think tank or this committee or this group you know and the thing is there's many groups now emerging that are doing fantastic things for the planet for example so I'm seeing this as very much not a mundane group of people. It could very well be a neighborhood group or, or you know, PTA even, some kind of school group. It could definitely be that. However, what I'm getting is that there's going to be some network, some community of people that is really new to you. Like they're, they're not your normal group. They're... It's a new group, it's vibrant, and this is going to affect, essentially, 
<laughs> it's, I mean, it's going to instigate soul growth for you on a very deep level. But I am intrigued about kind of spirit saying, slow the mind down, just, you know, kind of get, con in other words, get connected. Don't let this get lost in the various thoughts of the mind and the very busy mind, you know. So focus on it and make this a reality. But it does, the very strong vibe I get from this, though, is that whatever new group is coming forward for you is going to completely um, serve and provide, I would say, great joy for you down the road. The, the sense is that this feels long term and that um, this is going to yeah, be joyful for you at some point. But it feels this is this is just a germination point. So there's something very new that's going to be getting in this next cycle. And like I said, this being your new moon, how wonderful, how totally appropriate and perfect. Great. So let's see, Aquarius, what else we have for you this month. Aquarius, hi. So welcome. Um, I am here at Stanford University at the Cantor Arts Center in the Rodin Sculpture Garden, one of my favorite places, but also with the symbol of the Gates of Hell in the background, which is essentially signifying um, the intensity of the time that we're all moving through. As I said in some of the other videos, Rodin um, created this as a scene from Dante's Inferno. Um, it's a powerful piece. It's also a solid piece, but yet the forms in the um, structure of the gates are, it's a relief, you know, so they're ejecting out, popping out, getting out. It's delicious. So anyway, here I am. I've already pulled your cards and this is your cycle. This is your new moon, Aquarius new moon happening this month. And you receive, for the archetype that wants to evolve through you this month, you received Poet. And the shadow attributes of Poet are, turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. The lighter attributes, the evolved higher frequency attributes of Poet are, expresses soul insight through symbolic language. And I've also, I wanted to read a little more about Poet. So this is what Carolyn Miss writes. The poet combines lyricism with sharp insight, finding beauty not only in the epic affairs of humanity, but also in the everyday acts and objects. Also expresses wonder at the hidden joys and sorrows that we might otherwise overlook. The shadow poet turns gift for lyricism into negative effect as in songs or poems written in support of evil causes. So the the higher frequency uh, manifestation of poet is asking to come through you this month now you received purification white tara as the ascended master that's here to guide you that's here to provide support for you this month so this is the message of support this is the message that will support you that is supporting you at this new moon cycle white tara Something involved with the situation needs purifying. This could be a signal to purify your motives and intentions, excuse me, intentions. So they're purely about service and not about fear or competition. It could mean a purification of your body and diet. Or it could simply mean adjusting your life so that all of your actions are in integrity with your true beliefs. White Tara will support and assist this purification, ensuring that it's a harmonious process that brings great blessings to you and others. And I'm going to read just a little bit more here. Put your whole focus onto how may I serve instead of what may I get out of this, and everything will go better. Affirm loving thoughts about yourself and others. Avoid chemicals and toxins. Avoid any, avoid any behaviors that lead to feelings of guilt or shame as these lower your self-esteem. Leave situations that are out of integrity with your true beliefs. Wonderful support. So let's see what else we have for you during the cycle.
Aquarius, wow, you have received a wonderful, wonderful Dakini this month. Now, a reminder that the Dakinis are coming forward to provide you the archetype, the quality set um, of what to embody, what would be optimal for you to embody at this time that would bring, that would serve you best, that would bring you um, least effort, flow, bliss. You received 15 Creatrix. You know, with the combination of your I Ching, um, this is just a very powerful month. And of course, with this being your new moon, this is your new moon cycle. It is delicious. So let me read again. This is from Penny Slinger 64 Dakini Oracle. 15 create, uh, Creatrix. From the air of consciousness, the fire of inspiration comes and is replicated in the world as the inspirational fire of the artist. Who is Creatrix? Creatrix is the Dakini of creativity, particularly in relation to the visual arts. She is the bridge between the worlds of unmanifest potential and manifest form. She pulls from Purushra, consciousness, and pushes into Prakriti, nature, manifest form. In the arena of cause and effect, she is a prime mover, matching potential with the ability to bring it into being. Creatrix is the artist archetype, weaver of worlds and creator of magical illusions. Her art is the means she employs to remove the veils of mundane perception and reveal the underlying current of infinite potential, limitless creativity. Before I move on to this next section, I just want to, you know, say that this is um, such a very, very potent time for all of us. But with this fourth, you know, zero degree new moon being in Aquarius, and this being your new moon, new year, essentially, you know, uh, there's a lot that's feeding you now to bring important things into the world. So let's, let's go on to the next section here. So the divinatory meaning, according to Penny, uh, Creatrix offers you a personal creative stimulus package. It is time to manifest your creativity in whatever way most suits your special gifts. Creatrix is here to assist. She is not only mistress of creativity herself, but she opens the portal that enlivens and enhances the creative spirit in general. The appearance of Creatrix offers you an empowerment of your creative energy. Use it to manifest. Creatrix is here to encourage all manifestation. Look for opportunities that offer outlets for creativity. Create creative channels for self-expression. Think creatively. Think big. Think outside the box. Know that whatever you can conceive is within your realm of possibility. Your DNA has its own unique cosmic signature. Indeed it does. You are one of billions you excuse me, you are one of billions and are one in a billion. How do you want to express this miracle of you? How do you want to leave your imprint? So she speaks directly to you know your soul print and the archetypal profile and the symbolic profile and these stories that we are um, encoded with, very powerful ones that are cosmically um, imprinted. So you can find information about those, by the way, below this video as well. What a wonderful Dakini, fantastic. So let's move on, let's finish off the month for you now. So everyone, that is it for this month's Alchemy Scope. I want to um, remind you that if you haven't gotten your archetypal profile or symbolic profile, the information will be below. I also want to let you know that this month, January, between the Alchemy Scopes, the intention was to bring forward other videos because there's a big list of, of goodies that I want to be producing and making. And they are in the works, actually. Um, so look for tools coming forward in February, starting in February, but it'll be ongoing. This is going to be throughout 2015 but and beyond. But there will be 
foundational pieces of information coming forward that will help you. And I'm really excited because the pieces that I'm bringing forward are, um, they're going to be good. They're going to be good and it's going to be easy to understand. These are not going to be long videos either. They're going to be kind of brief teachings to the point. Four foundations of this, four foundations of this. So this is going to be delicious. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, you want to subscribe. And please like and share. I hate, I have to tell you, I hate saying that on this, uh, this whole YouTube thing. It's like, like and share. You guys know that already. <laughs> so I'm going to actually try to avoid saying that because I don't know. There's something about it. It's so salesman -y. I just can't, I can't get over it. I'm, I'm getting used to this whole world of, I don't know, marketing myself. It's, it's, it's a trip. It's really a trip. But it's an interesting process. And I will say, kind of a little tag note on that, I'm quite confident that there is a whole new way of marketing ourselves that has nothing to do with what these bloggers and these social media marketers are insisting that we do in order to get ourselves known. It's like, I actually, I only want to be known. In fact, I know that I'll only be known by those who want to know me. So I'm not attached to that. Do I want more views on the key videos that are to come? I do, because I think they're, they're gonna be foundationally helpful. I think they're gonna be foundational for this new paradigm of the new human. So that's that. That's my whole spiel. But I thought I'd make that point because I really, I don't know, this whole social media thing is very interesting. Anyway, so until the next video or until next month's Alchemy Scope, I wish you a wonderful February. And I'll see you soon.